Mesongo Sibuti, co-founder and CTO at Marketforce. You can think of Marketforce as a super app for retail merchants. So we give them the tools um, that they need to do their day-to-day -day business. Uh, of course, our primary product is being able to help merchants to order for goods um, in real time and get it within 24 hours. But on top of that, we've built financial services like buy now, pay later. We also help them to sell uh, vast products like airtime, um, you know, power tokens, water tokens, insurance, which is an extra source of revenue for their business. So it's been a journey that you can see at least three iterations. We started with targeting companies with large Salesforce teams. These were actually companies mostly in the financial services industry, moved into manufacturers, and then moved to targeting merchants um, as our primary customer. With most e-commerce uh, platform and digital platforms generally in some markets, um, you will suffer trust issue. In Kenya, for example, you see there is a lot of uh, theft on like the mobile money platforms and things like this. So you get that merchants because they are business people, they're always very worried of what they install on their devices and are skeptical that, oh, you know, can I trust you guys? So you have to kind of be able to go past that trust barrier with them for you to actually get adoption. The reason we verify businesses as individuals is because they're basically one and the same for the majority of the shop owners we work with. Uh, those that are running small dukas, uh, kiosks, like their business and their shop and themselves are all intertwined. And even their finances, you know, are often intertwined. It's just their personal finances running the business. So if you don't verify the individual, you don't verify the business. Smile ID has supported our efforts to scale across Africa by providing us a single API endpoint that we use to verify our merchants across all the markets that we are present in. For example, for wallets, where we have to work with different partners across the market, we have to run five integrations for the five markets that we are in. But because with Smile ID, it's a single API endpoint for verification, whether you're doing it in Kenya, in Tanzania, in Rwanda, or in Nigeria, um, you know, then we are running a single integration for all the markets. So this has really been, um, you know, of help to us because then that's the one thing that we haven't had to localize. When you're working on the African continent, it's not like 50 states in the US. You know, it's very fragmented. Every country is different. There's different regulations, different data sets, different partners you have to know. And so the depth of what Smile ID has in each country uh, to plug in and the APIs they have to plug in, you know, immediately allow us to scale. And um, it helps our market expansion basically be more scalable, quick, uh, robust. And, you know, that's, that's what we really love in Smile ID. That's what we look for is actually that scalability. Yeah, so I think um, in most of the markets, um, in terms of speed, we are doing sub uh, 10 milliseconds for verification, which is good. Um, and for accuracy, we are trading at about 96%. And, and mostly sometimes it's just like the users themselves are not in any of the databases that need to be used for verification. So that's a common thing in this market. But I think that the accuracy is good that uh, we can actually work with it. We want to see less fraud. We want to see a good interaction of understanding our customers quickly without being too invasive, without having to ask too much data and questions up front that changes the customer experience. So it's that good customer experience. It's robust authentication that you can actually trust. Um, and SmileID has been a reliable partner in general. And you know we measure that as, as success, yeah.